Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth diary for the Freedom From Oil Tour. My name is Kimia Gameshi and I'm organizing with Rainforest Action Network out of Toronto, so I've decided to join the tour for the Canadian dates. We're in London, Ontario right now and I wanted to give you a taste of what we've been saying on stage. Uh, yeah, if you could just give Josh a couple of minutes to uh, do his thing before the press readings continue, that would be great. Josh, this is London, and London, this is Trump. Alright, if you can hear my voice, clap once. If you can hear my voice, clap twice. Wow, oh, that worked to shut y'all up. Come on through the night, what'd you think of Strike Anywhere and Copyright? All right, so it's just five more minutes till propaganda goes on. But they're only gonna come on if we have a political conversation together first. Is that okay with you guys? That's what I like to hear. So my name is Joshua Khan Russell. I'm an organizer with the Rainforest Action Network. And what that means is that I go around and help coordinate direct actions against some of the biggest companies in the world that are fucking up our communities and our planet. So that's what I do with my time. And the reason propaganda lets me tag along with them and rant every night is that we think that there's something special about this community. Or at least there could be something special about this community, right? So when I was growing up in the New York punk scene, you were really jaded and self-righteous, right? And we had a joke we like to tell. And we're like this. How many punks does it take to change a light bulb? None. Punks never change anything. Oh, boo. So I'm saying that tonight because I don't think that's true anymore and I was hoping tonight we could disprove that together. Do you think together we can make this more than just a show tonight? Okay, so in that case I have a secret to tell. Keep it on the DL, most people don't know it, but the secret is we're killing everything because we're addicted to oil. You guys know that? We just love to dig shit up out of the ground and burn it. That's what we do, we're addicted to it. Who here has heard of the tar sands before tonight? That's impressive. We just did a bunch of dates in the U.S. and we were just met with blank stares. <laughs> yeah, I know you live in Canada. <laughs> so the tar sands are the next frontier of oil expansion, right? So to understand it fully, I want everyone to close your eyes, right? Now imagine there's this thick, black, goopy tar, and it's stuck in all this sand and sediment. And you can get it out and turn it to oil. But in order to do that, you have to use half as much energy as you extract. You have to use two to 500% as much fresh water, right? And the fresh water ends up in these highly toxic mutant death pools that are so big, you can see them from outer space, right? Let's say that you have to strip mine an area the size of the state of Florida to get at it. And let's say that it's all indigenous land and you have to violate treaty rights to get at it and you have to poison communities, give them cancer, kill all the fish and wildlife so they can't live the lifestyles that they've lived for centuries before white people came to this planet, right? Let's say beyond that is the biggest driver of global warming. That kind of sucks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So there's good news. The good news is that people are organizing and organizing against it. So I want to talk strategy with you guys for a second. Who here thinks big banks? Banks are just altruistic institutions that have our best interests at heart. Me neither. So one thing that Rainforest Action Network and other groups are doing is that we're campaigning against the bank that's primarily funding the tar sands. It's RBC, right? And so we think that if we can dry up the funding for tar sands, we can take them down. So there's three ways you can get involved. If you haven't been to the table, check it out, sign up, and get in the loop. That's number one. Number two is that you'll see some stickers on there with RBC's logo. Not that I'm advocating vandalism, but if those stickers ended up on bank machines and windows all over London, we'd be pretty excited. So can y'all help us out with that? I was hoping so. All right, so here's the last piece. So I'm making a little video for the CEO of RBC. His name is Gordon Nixon, and I was hoping you guys could help me with that. Can you help make the video? So here's how it works. I'm gonna look into the camera and say, 
Mr. Nixon, London has something to say to you. And then I'd love it if you could all chant, stop the tar sands. Is that cool? All right, let's practice just once. Ready? One, two, three. Cool. Alright, so every night there's always been some jackasses who instead of scream fuck you or throwing their middle finger in the air. Really, I'm asking you as a, just a, from a person, please don't do that because it'll actually ruin the video. Okay, you guys ready? We'll practice once more. One, two, three. Stop the Tarsans! Even better. Okay, here we go. Mr. Nixon, London has something to say to you. Thank you guys.